Ah, uh, you know that tune, don't you? One of the hottest, most successful, and memorable bands from the 70s and 80s was Journey. Iconic hits like Faithfully, Open Arms, and Don't Stop Believing became the soundtrack of a generation. The main writer for those songs, the group's keyboardist Jonathan Kane, has just released the long-awaited memoir where we learn some behind-the-scenes stories about the music and the magic of Journey. Good to have you with us Thank here. Thank you, Leland. Thank you. And Thank I would you. say welcome to Nashville, but this was home for a while. I had seven years. Uh, built a studio here uh, in, in Berry Hill. It's still going strong, Addiction Sound. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have some you know, fun over there. I'll tell you what, it's great. Yeah. So you over there at the end of the studio, you were telling me you have Keith Urban and a few others who yeah, stopped by. John Oates is a big client of ours. Uh, of course, Vince Gill was there with the Claim Jobbers. We, we've had some, you know, it's a very low key. There's no sign out front. Uh -huh. um, so it's, you know, we, it's invite, invitation only. Good, good. All right. Well, let's talk about the memoir. Yeah. How long does it take to take something like this? Because you've had a great life. Mm. So to talk about the process of putting that together. Well, you know, I started after reading this book by Stephen King on, on writing. He said everybody has a book in him. So I began on my laptop, and mm -hmm. I realized how difficult it was. And I needed tutoring and editors to help me and explain to me uh, how to get it right. And so I kept rewriting and rewriting. And it wasn't until I got to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Brooklyn that night that I knew how I was going to open the book, uh -huh. how the rest of it was going to go, you know. So uh, it was really enlightening. Of course, what an honor to have, you know, stand there with all the alumni from Journey. Yeah. And Talk about being there that night, uh, getting the phone call to say, hey, you're in, and also being back with Steve Perry that night. Well, I tell you, I go through it in the book in detail, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, anybody that's a Journey fan uh, can read the way it went down and, and a sort, a sort of uh, amazing moment there that we were all united. We were all part of something that moved generations. Yeah. I mean, we're talking like three generations from the 70, they band started in 74, you know, before I was in it. Okay. And before Steve was in it, there was Journey, you know. So uh, pretty great. It was a great night. Uh, it was great to see Steve. And you're still performing, as a matter of fact, you're back on a tour right now with Def Leppard. We're on, we'll be starting our tour at the end of May, uh, all the way through October. Mm -hmm. Uh, and all that touring and stuff, uh, and all of the behind the scenes are, are in this book, Don't Stop Believing. Those uh, fathers, uh, I hope they read this book and, and get fired up for their kids, my, the way that my dad fired me up, mm -hmm. encouraged me, led me. Uh, and recognize the uniqueness, you know, that I had it for music. You know? Yeah, because a lot of times the parent is saying, no, you can't do a career in music. It was your dad who pushed you in that direction. He, you know, he supported me. He was my vision keeper. And uh, so I hope when fathers read this book that, that they will get inspired. Uh-huh. Talk about being out there when this song or some of those other great songs from Journey go on and, and hearing the crowd. Well, you know, it's an honor first of all it's uh you know you're representing a legacy an era some people say it's the soundtrack to their lives i mean i'm, I'm flattered when i hear that mm -hmm. and um yeah so i i, I talk about the stri the struggles and the tr uh, trials that we had to go through life happens to rock bands too right you know? you know you have the divorces you have uh the breakups you know when you have to reform neil and i had to bring this band back from the dead literally mm -hmm. So that story's in the book, and uh, I, I thought it was time to let the fans in on, you know, that this hasn't been an easy journey, yeah. <laughs> but it's been a worthy one. Good, good. All right, maybe hard to say, but it, can you name one that, is there one that's your favorite, a uh, song? Well, it has to be Don't Stop Believing. Don't Stop Believing. Just because it lights up the world. I mean, what, what song have I written that does that? Hmm. <laughs> one. <laughs> and it's the most downloaded yeah. uh, uh, classic rock song of all time. Fantastic. And, you know, of course, Sopranos, uh -huh. Glee, you know, uh, Rock of Ages. Uh -huh. What can you say? <laughs> Lots so of good stuff. It's been a good song for us. All right, so Jonathan Kane, thank you so very much for being with us. He will be signing copies of his memoir this evening at 6.30 at Parnassus Book. Thank you very much. Thank you, Leland. Now let's head over.